here at home with Wendy. Oh, thanks for letting us into your home. Mm. Mm. Wow. You're welcome. So Wendy is definitely one of my longtime besties. Uh, story for another day. But <laughs> you know what? We're here to talk to her, you know, the capacity of an artist. And you know, she's willing to share with us something that she's actually been through. Um, can I say, is it last year or the year before? Last year. Last, last year. year was? Yeah. 2018. Yeah, yeah, it's last year, about one into last year. Okay. Yeah. And that is depression. So who would have thought that, by the way, the one and only Wendy, you know, music, the gigs, um, you know, can I say the fame and the fans, but you would still feel alone. Yep. How would you actually dis describe it? I mean, you know, depression has been one of those topics where it's just yeah. so hard mm -hmm. for you to make someone understand what it's like, what mm -hmm. it feels like. How can I mm -hmm. put it in painting for you to understand? Yeah. It's the best I could explain is that it's triggered by something mm -hmm. and sometimes nothing. Yeah. So, but it's mostly anxiety of what next and of the unknown mm. that makes you feel so like you slowly feel a fog coming in yeah and it just gets slowly darker and mm. darker and darker while you're looking at your peers mm -hmm. and in their lives it just looks like sunshine and rainbows mm. and yeah. but with you mm -hmm. you're like sitting right there with your friend yeah but you're like in a fog wow it's like, I don't think they see me. Mm -hmm. I don't think mm -hmm. they know what the hell. Because you try to explain it to someone yeah. and they can never understand. They're just like, just just do this. Yeah, mm -hmm. just relax. Just go just home be and fine. relax. Just yeah. do something. But even the thing is, for people who would probably be watching this and thinking about like, you know, your career and how well you've done in music, they're like, what could you possibly be seeing wrong about your life. I mean, <laughs> so far so good. There are some artists who are over there wondering, okay, why can't I get those opportunities like Wendy? I know, I know. And you know, sometimes like you see with depression, they yeah. say it has something to do with your levels of serotonin. Mm. They go really low. Serotonin is what makes you happy. Yeah. You know that? Oh, I have a hormone. lot of that. No. <laughs> too much. Good, can I have some? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so that's <laughs> hormonal imbalance ha happens, mm -hmm. and so that hormone. I hope I'm saying the right thing. Yeah. But serotonin, it just goes really low. Yeah. And you can't help but mm. feel the way you're feeling. Right. And sometimes it could be triggered by something. Like for me, it was mm. postpartum depression. Yeah. So it was just the difficulties of new baby. Yeah. All the expectations. Mm -hmm. Um, that you know you need to breastfeed you need yeah. to you haven't slept mm -hmm. it's a lot of things and a new environment new environment yeah. you know language I was dealing with Dutch language it was yeah. just so much yeah that you just want to leave yeah I'm like I don't want this I want yeah. to leave yeah wow <laughs> yeah and exactly that's how you feel and, it, you, and then and then you feel guilty. Mommy guilty yeah comes in because like, thinking, how do I just leave want to leave my baby how, how? Do I feel like that you know like yeah. what's wrong with me I yeah. must be the worst parent ever exactly but it's it's what happens to some yeah. women you mm -hmm. know after mm -hmm. pregnancy and it's yeah. what happens to just people in, it's not postpartum depression, but depression, it yeah. just happens. Mm. It falls on you and then boom, yeah. you're heavy. Mm -hmm. You're trying to get out, you can't. Yeah. You know yeah. exactly what you need to do, mm -hmm. you just can't do it. So do you think when you think about your triggers, it was, okay, I'm living in Holland away from my thriving zone because like Kenya is it for you, you no. know? Or is it you're comparing your life with now your past, like your close friends? I mean, what exactly was it? Actually, for me, it was none of that. Yeah. For me, it was, I left Kenya when I just did Unajua. Yeah. Which was like a big hit. Yeah. I didn't know at the time that it was going to be a big <laughs> hit. Big, yeah. And at the time, I was also doing, I was acting. I did mm. Rush, the series. Yeah. I had done a few African yeah. magic movies. Mm. And... That, that was good. That yeah, was progress. Yeah, yeah. But I was not feeling... For me, I was just like, 
Mm. I've tried this. And then also, now I have to move countries. Yeah. Just when things are picking up here, mm. I've been crying and praying for all this. And then now I have yes, to move. To make the change, yeah. And then I move there and then things become difficult there. So it just feels like... Tense when I'm back. in Kenya, yeah. when I'm here, it's like, mm. why is life just looking for me and trying to drag me down right. you know yeah so that not knowing what next mm -hmm. like what do i do i've and tried then, everything yeah then you add a baby now and then now there's a baby <laughs> and a husband <laughs> to take care of yeah <laughs> you yeah. know and a language to learn yeah you just feel like okay i just it was too much maybe the world is not for me yeah and you're like other people are stronger than me and you feel maybe that you think, yeah. and you ah. feel that yet you are strong it's just it's that Thing. I don't know that if it's ho the hormonal thing, yeah. that thing, it's just so, when you get just sad, mm -hmm. I fall, I plummet, yeah. like mm -hmm. completely, mm -hmm. and I don't pick up the next day or the next. You know, you can cry, yeah. and then, then you the next day you wake up, yeah. you're like, whew, yesterday yeah. was a bad day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's it, and depression is horrible, that's why, especially men, they don't talk about it, because it's a talk, talk, yeah. talk kind of thing, try mm -hmm. to talk it out, and if you don't, and if you hate talking, like you, you know, you get tired of it. Yeah. And you do. Mm. Sometimes you're just like your friends tell you, tell anytime I'm ready. But sometimes you're just like, I just can't. Yeah. I just I don't, don't want to talk. Wanna talk. Yeah. I want to close myself in that corner, curtains closed, dark, like no one. Yeah. And even when you're there, you mm. you have anxiety that someone is going to knock at the door and ask you something. Oh, wow. It's like, oh my God, that's why you want to mm. go as far as possible from people and i think that's how the suicidal thoughts start like yeah. just leave me alone leave me alone mm. i and it's like where can i be completely yeah. alone and, and i don't know would you say then that your baby was also kind of your savior at the same time because when you look at your child you're like oh my gosh i do i mean yeah. to be honest the first thing that i did yeah when i feel like i don't want to do anything I don't want to take care of this child. Yeah. But also there's that other voice that doesn't want to be depressed. Right. It said, what do I do? Mm. So I was like, okay, let me massage. Let me have a routine with him. Mm -hmm. One thing that I can call progress yeah. every day of my life. Okay. Which was mm -hmm. at night, I give him a bath. Mm -hmm. I massage him mm -hmm. and I play music. Yeah. When I look back, it was therapeutic. I've never stopped. He's a two year old man. Yeah. A man he fights me every day and I'm like this yeah. massage yeah. has to happen. Yeah. Because you're playing football for the Netherlands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, no, that's another story. And by the way, I'm the auntie who's <laughs> always there, going to be supporting. I will not mind the treats, just keep sending right. them. You know? Yeah, we're gonna cash in on these boys. <laughs> right. And that's how that was yeah. my first thing. Yeah. So if Step you keep adding time. them, yeah. like on top of that, do one thing for yourself as well. So you try and you fall and you try and you fall, but no one can get you out of depression. It's only you. Maybe that's the saddest thing about it. Yeah, and yeah. just you. Yeah. So you so have to have you that to... will to fight. Yeah. And that will to want to get better. Yes. No matter what. And once you beat, the day you beat depression once, the first yeah. time, mm. you will always remember how you got out of mm. it. Mm. Can you re remember when your lowest moment was? Like when you were like, I can't even believe I'm here. My lowest moment was, I think he wasn't sleeping mm -hmm. and I had to wake up. I haven't slept. Yeah. I have to wake up to feed him and he was not an easy sleeper. So it's like you put him down, he starts to cry. Mm -hmm. I've already fed him, changed his diaper, everything. This is not, there should be nothing wrong. I remember thinking the minute I put this kid to sleep. Yeah. See, he's asleep. Yeah. And the father is asleep. Mm -hmm. I'll just pack my things. What? And they will not know. And I'll just go. What? I was like, I'll just go. You don't know where, but I'm going. I'll just go. Because I'll lose it. And you start thinking of... Even, like... Because, you know, in suicide of those don't just come, oh, I want to kill myself. You start thinking, what if something happened to me? Mm -hmm. You know? Maybe missed. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. no, just what if something happened yeah. to me? Can something just happen to me? Because you can't bring yourself to right. actually do it. And then it slowly goes into planning. 
Wow. And then it slowly goes into something, you know. Yeah. And it just slowly like that, and you're always thinking and planning. And you know it's crazy, but you're like, but it makes sense. Oh. <laughs> and Gosh. that's why you need to talk. Because mm. if you're just stuck in your mind, you need someone else to tell you that's crazy. Absolutely. Like, are you hearing yourself? So you need to force yourself into situations where you'll talk or where you'll see that it's not all doom. Yeah. Because you'll, you'll be forced, like, yeah. let's go out. You're like, oh, God, I just don't want to go yeah. out. But then you go there and someone will start a, st a random story of CG. Yeah. You remember CG? Yeah. yeah. And you remember you start laughing because yeah. it, it was a good time. Yeah. And then you, you're like, oh, I actually had a good day today. Yeah. Like that. So you have to force yourself. Get out there. Even when you don't feel like it. Yeah. The funniest thing is that there's like an international um, suicide something awareness prevention, suicide prevention awareness day mm. somewhere. This topic is actually timely if you ask me. Yeah. But I like what you're saying. You've got to force yourself. And so, if someone who's watching who's just having more than a bad day, it's actually mm. planning and crazy mm. thoughts creeping up on them, mm -hmm. you can get yourself out. Just reach out to that person who makes you feel safe. Yeah. You know that person yeah. who you can say anything to them mm. and you never feel judgment? Yeah. Call that person like now mm. and just say, this is what I'm thinking about. Mm -hmm. But th that person wouldn't go like, what the hell? Yeah. No, just someone's like, okay. Um, sure. I mean, just on a light um, touch, I mean, mm. you, you're right about you need someone who will not judge you because I even know a friend who told me that there's some chick who kept saying that she wants to kill herself and you know, just it, she just kept mentioning it. Yeah. It's like, oh, today I'm going to drink rat and rat. And she's like, <laughs> Yeah. The next week, oh, I'm gonna drink rat and rat. Yeah, <laughs> you, you have know? to be like, wait, let's exactly. talk about this like, for a bit. As much as it sounds funny, it's not funny. Yeah, because you know? people cope differently. Yeah. The people will say that me, I'm thinking about drinking rat and rat. <laughs> yes. Then there's me, I'll just drink rat and rat. You guys, just wait. you know, yeah. but don't take those things lightly. Like, just be like, <laughs> no. okay, wait, no, yeah. seriously, is this something like, that you're thinking I about? Think even for her, she got so upset. She was like, you know what? Imagine just drink it. Oh my god. <laughs> You ca that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be someone who you can feel someone, safe around. Exactly, mm -hmm. and someone who knows you, so they know she looks like she's joking, but... No, she's not, because she never does this kind of thing. Right. Yeah, yeah. so right. it's going to be someone who you know, not like a random yeah. person. Yeah. And like, let me mention one thing yeah. about coping mechanisms. So you have to create a coping mechanism for yourself. Because mm -hmm. there are sometimes, yeah, you need that one day to mm -hmm. be like, you know what, today I'm depressed. Yeah. Just that one day, mm -hmm. accept it and tell people, you know what, I'm, I'm okay, I'm in the house, I just need my space mm -hmm. today. But tell yourself, tomorrow I'll yeah. wake up. Because mm -hmm. it's hard. Yeah. So that, that day you feel it, embrace it, and then you detach from that feeling. Right. The next day. Next day you wake up, open those curtains, yeah. get up and be like, I don't know what I'm doing, but you open, you get up, you shower, make up if you're a chick, if you don't, if, if you're not a chick, you don't, you know, just <laughs> do whatever that makes you feel good, you know, pick your clothes. <laughs> it's true. But and it, then get out. Yeah, I think everything even changes once you make your bed, for uh, some reason. Let me tell you. Yeah. Hey, that's the day starter. Yeah. This is, wow, that is so amazing. And I yeah. think um, whoever's watching this has been inspired, motivated. I really hope so. I Thank you that. for sharing that with us. Yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. You and can do it. You can do it. Get up the next yeah. day. Well, thanks for watching. Here's your 15 minutes of inspiration this morning. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> and oh, we forgot the star of the show. Where's Taji? Taji! <laughs> Where's my mama? <laughs> Come. Hi. Hi! Oh! And here's my savior. This is the savior. Look, Baba. Look. Look, someone saying Wait, hi to you. Say hi. Taji, say hi. Say smile. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you smile? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.